study of physical properties of soil. To study pH of different types of soil. Materials required Test tubes Distilled water Roadside soil Garden soil Humus rich soil Riverside soil Funnel and filter paper Procedure Let's first prepare the soil solution. Take roadside soil from the watch glass and dissolve it into the beaker containing water to make soil solution. Similarly, repeat the same procedure for other soil samples. Take a funnel, place a filter paper in it and keep it on a test tube. Take roadside soil solution and filter the solution through the filter paper and collect the filtrates in a test tube. Repeat the same procedure for other samples with fresh filter papers. The soil solution is now ready for testing pH. Using pH paper Materials required Soil solutions Droppers pH paper booklet and a tile Procedure Take a pH paper booklet Tear pH paper strips from the booklet and place four strips on the tile. Using a dropper, take some roadside soil solution from the test tube. Put 1 to 2 drops of solution on the first pH strip on the tile. Using fresh droppers, do the same procedure for garden soil, humus rich and riverside soil. Wait for some time for the pH paper strip to dry. Note the color and compare with the color chart given on the broad range indicator paper and get a rough estimate of pH of the sample solutions. Observations We can observe that the roadside soil has pH 7, garden soil and humus rich soil have pH 6 and riverside soil has pH 8 using Universal Indicator Solution. Materials required Soil Solutions Dropper and Universal pH Indicator Solution. Procedure Using a dropper, take some Universal Indicator Solution. Put 5 drops of indicator solution into the test tube that contain water samples from roadside soil, garden soil, humus rich and riverside soil. Note the color developed and compare it with the color chart. Observation We can observe that the roadside soil has pH 7, 
garden soil and humus rich soil have pH 6 and riverside soil has pH 8. To study moisture content of soil. Materials required Garden soil Crucibles Roadside soil Weighing balance Burner and wire gauze Procedure Take watch glass containing garden soil and put it into a crucible. Weigh the crucible with soil sample on a weighing balance. Take crucible and place it over the Bunsen burner. Heat the soil for some time till the soil becomes dry. Weigh the crucible again to record the weight of dry soil. Take watch glass containing roadside soil and put it into a crucible. Weigh the crucible with soil sample on a weighing balance. Take crucible and place it over the Bunsen burner. Heat the soil for some time till the soil becomes dry. Weigh the crucible again to record the weight of dry soil. Observation Record the initial and final weights of each sample and the difference between initial and final weights in the form of a table. Conclusion Garden soil shows higher difference between initial and final weight indicating higher moisture content in the garden soil than the roadside soil. Water holding capacity of soil. Materials required. Soil sample from garden. Mortar and pestle. Filter paper. Tin boxes with perforated bottoms. Glass rod. Small glass rods, petri dish, and weighing balance. Procedure Take a watch glass containing garden soil and put it into a mortar. Using a pestle, grind the sample into fine powder. Take a filter paper and place it in the bottom of the tin box. Weigh the tin box along with the filter paper and note its weight. Transfer the fine powdered soil sample into the tin box. Take a glass rod and tap the box gently several times so that soil is compactly filled and forms a uniform layer at the top. Weigh the tin box along with soil sample and note its weight. Take a petri dish filled with water. Take two small glass rods and place them parallel to and at a small distance from each other. Place the soil filled tin on the two glass rods in such a manner that its bottom is in contact with water. Leave the setup undisturbed till water appears on the upper surface of the soil. Wait till the entire soil surface is wet. Remove the tin and allow all the gravitational water to flow out from the bottom. When no more water percolates, wipe the bottom to dry it with the filter paper. Weigh them again and note its weight. Observation Record all the values into the table and calculate the percentage of water holding capacity of the garden soil. Conclusion Garden soil retains more water and thus has higher water holding capacity. To study the texture of the soil,
materials required 50 gram soil sample measuring cylinder and a beaker containing water procedure take 50 grams of soil sample and put it into a measuring cylinder take beaker containing water and pour some water into the measuring cylinder shake the measuring cylinder to mix the sample Allow the soil particles to settle down. Record the thickness of the layers formed by different types of particles in the measuring cylinder. The thickness of clay particles in measuring cylinder is 21%, silt particles is 18% and sand particles is 61%. Using a textural triangle, draw lines corresponding to the percentage of clay, silt and sand. The lines which intersect indicate the soil type we have. Here, the sample soil consists of 21% clay, 61% sand and 18% silt. Hence, the soil type is sandy clay loam.